welcome back to the channel to Lapping Life Mallorca. I'm Andrew and today I've brought you to the east of the island. I've brought you back to Cala de Mallorca. We, we came here just over a year ago to see what it was like and it was so quiet. So I thought we will bring you back here to actually compare what it was like last year to this year because it's, it's a huge a huge difference this year I've found so far. It's it's busy, it's getting back to normal. And so I just thought we'd come here, have a look to see what the difference is this year. So come on for the walk, it's gonna be a good one. It's a real hot one today so far. It's 34 degrees and it really is beautiful. As so far I've found some holiday accommodations just around here, holiday apartments. There's a bus stop just there, which is really handy, isn't it? So I'm just heading now towards the beach. I'm going to start the walk down the beach and just see how we get on from there. There's a lovely little beach here, as I seem to remember. So I've taken this little path, which would take us down to the beach itself. Take to Uncinta steps. But it's well worth getting down there to have a little look at the beach, which you can see in front of us now. There are a couple of ways you can get here. Unfortunately, both ways there are steps. And this is the second of the steps there that go up. Lovely beach though, it's so peaceful at the moment. Today's temperature when I was coming down in the car was 36 degrees. At one point it hit 38 degrees. So it just shows you what temperature it is today and it does really feel that heat. <laughs> Along the top there's a path, it takes you right round the cliff's edge, some beautiful views. That's where we'll be going when we leave here. Let's get have a paddle. So got a little bar down here, if you get a little bit thirsty. Plenty of seating. As this is the east coast, obviously it's a colour, which means a cove. So it's got quite a lot of little, these little coves as we walk around. Not, not to see people in the sea enjoying themselves though, isn't it? Then let's cross the paddling, because I'm in now. Do you know the water is so lovely and warm? And it's, it's very pebbly um, as it goes out rocky, but it's a little bit sandy the further you go up the beach itself, but you really can't fault it. It's beautiful and warm. Like all the other beaches, they've all got lifeguards on, which is very good news, isn't it? It's so hot at the moment, so always remember to drink plenty, preferably water, and um, just keep out the sun as much as you can and obviously don't forget the um, factor 50 or whatever number you use and I always wear a hat as well keeps my head from burning doesn't it and if you can't make the steps at all there is a car park here so I'm not sure how you get here from the road but there is always another option so I'm going back up the steps and they'll be turning left and taking a little path around the front of the cliffs. So I've made it to the top of the steps now. This is a path. Just saying it takes a nice little walk around the front of the cliffs with some beautiful views. So that's the road you can come down. Look at those steps halfway. So you see that it's a beautiful little path with these great views. So above me you've got hotels and there's several little steps going up to the hotels. Down the bottom there you can see people swimming, snorkeling. It's brilliant, isn't it? That's just fun. Really wouldn't have thought it, would you? Have you enjoying this film? I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget if you haven't subscribed 
I'd love for you to push that button and that bell now, that'd be really handy. And it's free. Yeah, that drone really does a, a marvellous job, doesn't it? Especially when you're looking at things like the sea and different things like that. It brings everything to a different perspective, doesn't it? I do love coming on this walk, but it is a, it's a long walk. You need a, a good amount of time, energy and water, especially in this heat, to do this. So what do you think of Cala Mallorca? I'd love for you to put your comments below and tell me if you, if you come here often, if you've never been here, or if you're thinking of coming here because of my videos. I'd love for you to tell me down below in the comments.
sun is coming to the end of the path now. As you can see there's uh, another lovely sandy beach in front of us. Well, a lot of the time when you go on one of these boating excursions, trips, they bring you into a little port like this. A ranker someone has there. It gives you a little bit of time for a, a little swim. So the, that's the majority of the time what happens there. And at the end here you can book your excursions. Bus bottom boat and things like that. That, that really does look fun, doesn't it? Listen, you're not out of your depth either. They're all standing, or the majority of people are actually standing in the sea. I'd feel so comfortable in there, you know, to actually be in, in the depth the whole time. So many people as well sunbathing and there it's lovely to see so many people on a crowded beach isn't it so when you've you've had your swim steps again all the way up that's not a little beach on it it's johnny gog one so i'm just heading now towards the town i'll stop at it a cafe towards the town and have a have a little drink and a little rest. Soon be time for some dinner. So at the top of the road I found part of the town. Lots of shops just dotting around and restaurants and excursions and things to do. So I bought a Coca-Cola. Cheers guys. So I've had me little break and me drink now onwards. See what else this town has to offer. Plenty of tourist shops selling, selling everything you like. Look at the size of that lilo just there, eh? Right in the back of the cafe and things, it's, it's opened up into a little Shopping areas, it's quite surprised me actually. It's a bit like a TARDIS again, isn't it? So many of these little places everywhere that you just have to look a little bit further than the, the eye, as it were. A little bit of crazy golf as well. Of course, an area here behind this fencing is dying out for a little bit of TLC, isn't it? That'd make a marvellous place, wouldn't it? Just somebody with a little bit of money and a, a vision. And into a, like a little shopping area. It's quite nice in here. It's, it's undercover, so it's taking the, um, the sun away, which makes it feel nice and... Nice and refreshing under here, actually. Still next to the crazy golf. When I came up between the shop, I really didn't expect to find this amount of shops hiding behind it. It's quite a, a pleasant surprise, actually. the end here you've got like um, a go-karting area I think something like that it's a few children's rides in there bounty castles and things and of course lots and lots of clothes I should imagine these restaurant, bars, cafes and so on would be extremely busy at the evening, won't they? When, the, when it gets a little bit cool and people start coming off the beaches, 
I should imagine it'd be a job to get a table. Yeah, if you're a youngster, this place looks a bit like heaven, doesn't it? So just here we've got crazy golf with a Sioux feel. That's what we have written on the board. What it makes it look like a Sioux feel? There's a few ducks over there. Oh, there they are. There's the animals right in the middle. So that's crazy golf with a Sioux feel, or mini golf. Nice to see you on a bus route, isn't it? I've seen a few buses come and going since I've been here. So if you like today's film and you'd like to buy me a, a cup of tea, a Coke or whatever on my adventures, because obviously being it's so hot, I mean we are well in the 30s today, it's boiling hot. Um, anyway, so if you fancy buying me a couple at all, I've got a GoFundMe page. I'll put the link down below in the comments and I really do appreciate everything I get. So thanks very much guys. Well I hope you liked today's film, if you did, I'd love you to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget Facebook page, Loving Life Mallorca. Take care of yourselves, bye for now.